President of the United States was not easy. I felt I had to keep the secret for the good of the country. History may yet vindicate me, but I am afraid that I failed in both of those ambitions. We hid it from the public pretty well, but of course everyone in D.C. knew. They took delight in calling me and my partner Miss Nancy and Aunt Fancy. Bitches and they fought me at every turn. The country was so divided at the time. Both sides seemed to use my secret against me. It didn't help that my better half had been vice president in the previous administration, so all of his enemies hated me as well. Rufus was so handsome. I cherish his memory. He died shortly after his own inauguration. So he didn't even have victories that I could cling to for political support. I was alone and friendless in a city of no friends. Secrets will do that. Maybe I could have come forward, told the world who I truly was, improved the lives of countless people, advanced the cause of social justice, but I was trying to save the country. And yet, even though I kept my secret, it didn't prevent secession or the Civil War. So what good was it? I am James Buchanan, 15th President of the United States. God bless you. All of you, and God bless America.